edition of Paper Plate Crafts and Storytime. I'm Miss Barbara from the Huntington Beach Library, practicing social distancing and staying at home, as I'm sure you are too. But just because we're at home, it doesn't mean we can't have fun. So today I'm going to be showing you the craft you'll be making. I'll be reading some stories to help get us excited about the craft. And then I'll be demonstrating how to make the craft. This demonstration will also be posted on the Friends of the Children's Library of Huntington Beach Facebook page, as well as the library's Kids Corner website. But before I show you the craft, I'm going to do a draw and tell. Now, once upon a time, there was a man who was walking down the road with his arms behind his back so you couldn't see his arms. And as he was walking down the road, it started to snow. And he said, my goodness, this is unusual weather for April in Huntington Beach, but I like snow. I think I'll go sledding. So he got out of sled and he started sledding in the snow. But after a while, it got cold and he said, you know what? I think I need to build a nice house. So he built a little nice house that he could be in. But he said, you know, this house is kind of small. I think I need to build another story. So he built another story to his house. He said, you know what? I think this house is a little bit dark. So he built one window. And he said, you know what? I think this house is a little bit cold. I'm gonna build a fireplace down here and a fireplace up here, but I need some chimneys. So he built a big tall chimney on one side and a big tall chimney on the other side and then he threw some sticks on the fire in one fireplace he threw some sticks and the fire on the other fireplace and then he looked out one window he went out another window and what did he see outside hopping on the lawn he saw a bunny that's what that's supposed to be so we're going to be making bunnies today and Easter baskets in honor of our upcoming Easter holiday. So let me show you what the craft's going to look like. You will need two piece, two paper plates. We need a paper plate for a bunny and a paper plate for our basket. So I'll be showing you after our little story time how to make that paper plate Easter basket. Our first story today is called bunny's easter egg this is by ann mortimer and this is a fun book because hidden in this book are pictures of easter eggs and you're going to see if you can find them before i point them out so this is bunny's easter egg it was early easter morning and bunny was very tired all night long she'd been hiding eggs for the easter hunt and there she is and you can see there's bunny giving a great big bunny yawn and she's got an egg right there. That's pretty easy to find. There was just one very plain egg left to hide. Bunny was far too tired to hide the last egg. So with a hop, a skip, and a jump, she brought the egg into her basket and closed her eyes. Can you see the egg hidden on that page? Can you find it? Can you see it? It's right between the grass. There it is. Did you find it? Suddenly, she heard a crackling sound. Something moved and bumped, and Bunny leaped out of the basket. Oh, no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. It's far too busy. And now she leaped, and can you find an egg hidden on this page between the grass? Do you see it? It's got pink polka dots. Do you see it? There it is. Did you find it? With a hop, a skip, and a jump, Bunny landed in the hollow of an old oak tree. She curled her ears, she wiggled her nose, and she closed her eyes. Some young birds sang very loudly. Cheep, 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 went the birds. Oh no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. It's far too noisy. All right, let's see. Can you find the egg hidden in the picture? find it? There it is. Did you find it? Where does 
Bunny go next? Bunny leaped out of the hollow with a hop, a skip, and a jump, and she headed for the garden shed. She jumped into the wheelbarrow, curled her ears, twitched her nose, and closed her eyes. A hedgehog woke her up. Brickle, 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 went the hedgehog. Oh, no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. It's too painful. Not sure would be being poked by a hedgehog. And look here. There she is. Do you see the egg hidden in the picture? Do you see the egg? Can you find it? But I see the egg. The egg is hidden on the bottom. <gasps> there it is. Do you see the egg now? All right, where does Bunny go next? With a hop, a skip, and a jump, Bunny found herself in the garden. There she discovered an old pot. Bunny crawled in, brewing down to sleep. She curled her ears, she twitched her nose, and she closed her eyes. Some mice woke her up. Squeak, 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 went the mice. Oh, no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. It's far too squeaky. And look here and see. Can you find the egg hidden in the picture? Do you see the egg with the purple polka dots? Can you find it? There it is. Did you find it? All right, let's see where Bunny goes next. With a hop, a skip, and a jump, she ran into the flower garden and burrowed into some warm, soft grass. She curled her ears. She wiggled her nose. She closed her eyes. A mole woke her up. Prod, 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 went the mole. Oh, no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. It's far too lumpy. And let's see, do you see an egg hidden in this picture? Can you find the egg hidden in the picture? Do you see the egg? There it is. Did you find it? Let's see where Bunny goes now. With a hop, a skip, and a jump, she leapt into a boat on the lily pond. She curled her ears. She twitched her nose. She closed her eyes. Two ducks and a frog will crop. Quack, 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 went the ducks. Croak, 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 went the frogs. Oh, no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. It's too wet. Let's see. Can you find the egg hidden in this picture? Can you find the egg? Do you see the egg? There it is. Did you find it? All right, where does Bunny go now? She's tried a lot of different places and nothing has worked. With a hop, a skip, and a jump, Bonnie went into the greenhouse. And there she found a deep sea tray to burrow in. She curled her ears. She twitched her nose. She closed her eyes. When two kittens pounced upon her, meow, meow, purr, purr, meow, went the kittens. Oh, no, cried Bunny. I can't sleep here. They won't leave me alone. So she headed back to where she'd begun. And let's see, can you find an egg hidden in this picture? Can you find the Easter egg? Do you see it? Can you find it? There it is. It's in the pot. All right, so now Bunny has gone back to her original basket. Wearily. Bunny found her favorite basket. The plain egg was nowhere to be found. She burrowed down among the sweet scented flowers. She curled her ears. She twitched her nose. She closed her eyes. Hmm, she murmured. Ah, uh, this is perfect, thought Bunny. Do you see the egg hidden in this picture? There's an egg there. Do you see it underneath the white flowers? Do you see it? There it is. Did you find it? But Bunny didn't sleep for long. That plain egg had hatched, and Bunny had a brand new friend. Oh my goodness, it was a little baby duck. She had a new friend who wasn't noisy, who wasn't prickly, who wasn't lumpy or wasn't pesky. Happy Easter, Bunny. And there 
she is with her duck friend in the book Bunny's Easter Egg by Ann Mortimer. So, I have my Easter basket already, but as you can see in my Easter basket, there is nothing in my Easter basket. Oh, where, oh, where are my Easter eggs? Where, oh, where could they be? I looked high and low. Where did they go? The bunny hid them for me. There's one by the gate. Oh, there's one. And one by the door. There's one on the path. Will I find some more? There's one on the bench and one in the grass. So many eggs for me. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. We have five Easter eggs. Can you show me five fingers? I woke up Easter morning and what did I see? <gasps> five little Easter eggs looking back at me. I ate the pink one. Mm, that was yummy. But I wanted more. When I looked at my basket, how many eggs are left? I saw one, two, three, four. Can you show me four fingers? Four little Easter eggs as happy as could be. I went and ate the yellow one. Mm, that was good. How many are left? Now I see one, two, three. Can you show me three fingers? Three little Easter eggs. What else could I do? I went and ate the orange one. And now there are only, how many eggs are left? One, two. Show me two fingers. Two little Easter eggs. There it is. I was having so much fun. I went and ate the blue one. How many are left? And now there's only one. One little Easter egg. Yum, yum, yum. I went and ate the red one. How many Easter eggs? Eggs are left, and now there are none. Because I ate them all, but I still have my basket. Give yourselves a big round of applause for helping me with that. But I still have a special Easter egg. One day, and here it is. Look what was in the farm. A great big decorated egg. Rooster came by with a great big cock a doodle doo and he saw that egg. He had never seen an egg like this before. And so he asked all the other birds on the farm, Who laid this wonderful egg? I've never seen an egg like this before. When along came the baby chick. And the baby chick said, Why, this must be my egg. It's got some chicks on it. So I think this egg is my, my egg, said the baby chick. When Duck came by, Duck said, it is an Easter egg. He opened up the egg and what was inside? <gasps> A little baby Easter bunny. That's how you know it's an Easter egg, said the bunny. It's decorated and inside is my very own little Easter friend. And that is the story of the Easter egg. So we're going to be making our very own baskets with our very own bunnies with our paper plates. As I said, this craft takes two paper plates. I have my two paper plates. Now, this is the easy part. The first part we're going to do 
is we're going to take our first paper plate and fold it. I like to fold them because it makes them easier to cut. So we're going to fold it. This is going to be our Easter basket. So we're going to take our plate now and we're going to cut it in half down the fold so we can make our basket. And you can see we now have our two halves for our Easter basket. Now I actually stapled mine. You can tape it. I stapled mine. You can see it now has an opening. So you can put things in your basket. We're going to staple it. You can decorate it with stickers. You can color it. Uh, you can cut out the strips of paper like I did to make try to make it look like a basket. But you don't have to. You can really make it any way you want. But this is your basket. Now we're going to make our bunny and handle for our basket. We're going to take our paper plate. We are going to fold our paper plate. As I said, I like to fold them because it makes it a little bit easier to cut them out. I'm just fold, folding it on the edges. Here we go. We're going to cut up the fold. And now we're going to cut out the round part of the paper plate. This becomes the bunny's body. That's the round part of the plate in the middle. One half of the edge is going to become the handle for the Easter basket, and the other half will become the bunny's ear. So this is going to become our bunny. This is going to become the handle and the ear. So we're going to fold it in half. We already did, but there's the crease. Cut on the crease. Ah, voila! We now have the handle for the Easter basket. So you can take your handle on the back or staple it. Doesn't matter. But that's your handle. So now you have your Easter basket. Now for the bunny. So here's your bunny. Now what you want to do to make your little bunny so he can uh, pop out of the basket is you want to cut like a crescent and round it. What does that mean? I'm going to round it a little bit as I cut my little crescent out. Or you could say you're making a, a big fat C. Doesn't really matter. All right. So it looks a little bit like this. I've made a C. We're going to take the two edges we cut out. Those are going to become the bunny's paws. We're going to fold them all the way back to the curve. See, it's folded all the way back. I'm now going to fold the little paws forward. This is so it can sit on the edge of the basket. All right. He now has his little bunny paws. Now for the ears. We're going to fold the paper plate in half. We're going to cut on the fold. Now, you can use the ears like this if you want to, but they don't, you know, they're, they're kind of square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round. What is that? What do I mean by round? See, I'm going to cut the edges off. All right. I've got one bunny ear. All right. I'm going to do the same on this one. Going to cut out round the edge. I've got two bunny ears. All right. So I've got my two bunny ears. I have my bunny. I have this little piece of paper here. Now with this little piece of paper here, I cut out whiskers. You don't have to. You could draw whiskers on. I thought well, I've got this little bit of paper. I might as well cut out my whiskers. So this is our finished product. You can see I've got my little bunny. He sits inside his little Easter basket. He looks like this. I had some googly eyes, so I put googly eyes on my bunny. If you don't have googly eyes, you can use buttons. You can draw your eyes. Um, I have a little pom-pom. You can use buttons or just draw the nose. I cut out little bits of the plate for whiskers. You can just draw the whiskers. And as you can see, I had some Easter grass there. This is what it looks like. It's my Easter grass. You can see I carry my little plate. I didn't use a lot of staples. You could probably put more uh, around your plate. So not so much grass would come out and then you can put your little bunny inside and you are all ready to have your little easter decoration well this concludes today's story time remember a pictorial of this craft will be posted on the friends of the children's library facebook page as well as on the library's website on our kids corner page so let's get our clapping hands ready until next time let's sing our goodbye song here we go now it's time for us to go. It's time for us to say goodbye. But it won't be long, my friends, until we meet again. So long, farewell, goodbye. Well, thank you for listening to today's story time. Until next, next time, this is Miss Barbara signing off. Bye.